In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, Amen. Benedicite omnia opera domini domino. O bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Tonight, all the works of the Lord bless the Lord as we celebrate the Feast of Feasts, the origin of our faith, the reason of our hope, the rising from the dead of the one whom we love and who loves us and has given himself for us. Today, the whole world rejoices both rational and irrational. The angels proclaim the news. The sun and the moon will shine more brightly. The birds sing. The trees and flowers begin to blossom. And the blessed of mankind, who believe in his resurrection, glorify Christ as we do this evening in this wonderful vigil. Magdalene, Mary Magdalene, one of the faithful women who accompanied our blessed Lord throughout his public ministry, having been converted from a sinful life, she loved him immensely. And when the events of his passion began to unfold, she, together with our blessed lady and a few other women, followed our blessed Lord at each stage of it, as much as they were allowed by Jewish and Roman authorities. The Magdalene walked with him to Calvary, and then she adored him on the cross as he suffered his last agony and died. She went with Joseph of Arimathea as he buried her Lord in the tomb and then came back the next day, as soon as possible, to anoint his sacred body. Mary Magdalene is to be praised for her fidelity, for her love, and despite all the threats and the cruelty of men who brought, him, who brought about our blessed Lord's death, she was always near him, praying for him and offering him what signs of love she could, so that she would know he had not laboured in vain in freeing souls from the devil. She is the image of those of us who have offered a, li a life of faithfulness during Lent, once spent with our blessed Lord in penance and in generosity. Peter was also a faithful disciple of the Lord. Having been chosen by him when he first began his public ministry, he defended our Lord and his teaching and even professed him to be the Son of God. But after Judas had betrayed Jesus and he was on trial, Peter was asked by a woman at the fire if he was with Christ. He denied it and fulfilled the prophecy of our Lord, despite his boasting at the Last Supper. Although all shall be scandalized in thee, I will never be scandalized. Though I should die with thee, I will not deny thee. And he ran away and wept, too ashamed, afraid to show himself again, leaving Christ to die on the cross without him. Peter then is an image of those of us who have failed in our Lenten journey, who planned great things but did not act upon them with fidelity, who spoke many words but did few deeds. In this way, Magdalene and Peter 
are signs not only of the soul in Lent, but during our entire lives. Some are quietly faithful, who say few words, but love ardently and consistently. Others say much and do little. But this, as we know, was not the end for Peter. For Jesus told him he had betrayed him, and for that his faith would not fail. And so today, whether we be like the Magdalene or be like Peter, let us rejoice this day and let no worldly sadness weigh us down. Christ is risen from the grave and we are with him. The lover of mankind has died for love of us and now lives again that we might have hope. He has chosen us out of this confused, unbelieving, dying world so that we might be its light and save ourselves and any who will listen to the angelic message. We are blessed, my dear friends, for those who know the truth and the power of Christ's resurrection are truly blessed. They are truly chosen by God. May we rejoice this day, this Eastertide, to receive his body and blood into our souls and thank him with all our hearts for his love for us. The Lord is truly risen. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.